this topic, you will understand various reports and inquiries for managing stock. Now, there are several reports available that detail information on settings to find in inventory, products, and transactions entered. Now, the stock reports in the reports function start with STLCK for stock specific and ITM for product specific reports. Now, the stock reports include such reports as stock transaction report, stock to date report, occupied locations, and product slash location reports. The product reports include such reports as the detailed cost calculations, product information by site, and product master listing reports. And finally, there is a stock valuation report. Now you use this report to print stock valuation report for a given company according to the different calculation criteria. You have to take caution in generating it, the report because if you include all data, it could take some time for the report to print. Now there are also many inquiries available that allow you to review information in transactions and inventory. You can access inquiry function for the stock inquiries block to access inquiries. Additionally, you can access the same inquiry functions by clicking the action icon on the transaction or from the inquiry option in the right panel of a function. Now some of these reports include stock listing which allows you to view stock information by product and lot, BP stock, projected stock, stock available to promise, available stock, obsolete stock, and inactive stock. You also have the allocation listing, which includes inquiry functions providing information on allocations created for product issues. There's also the quality history listing, which includes inquiry functions that allow you to view quality control responses, technical sheets, and 130 record history. There's a movement listing, which includes inquiry functions that allow you to view transactions affecting stock. There's the location listings, includes inquiry functions providing information regarding locations in a warehouse, including locations that are available, occupied, and products associated with the location. Then there's the product listing, which includes inquiry functions that allow you to view information such as stock being counted, orders, currently in process and stock history. And finally, there's the MRP MPS reorder listing, which includes inquiry functions that allow you to view information for MRP and MPS results. Let's take a look at your stock reports and inquiries, starting off with reports. All reports in the system are located in the printouts module. And they're in the printouts block under reports. This is where all your reports are located by ID. As mentioned earlier, all stock reports start off with the code STOCK, as you can see here. All reports for stock specifically to products start off with ITM, as mentioned earlier. So if you know the ID, you can actually locate your reports here. However, by PRINTS GROUP, you can actually go to the submenu for stock to see all the reports that are grouped together by internal documents, counts, reorder, stocks to move, and analysts. The internal documents are reports as in picking tickets for selecting products for shipping or preparation lists for selecting orders for shipping. You also have your analyst reports that you can use. Let's take a look at how you would run an analyst report. We'll go by stock site. As you can see, the detailed parameters that you can enter, the range, category, reference, which are on all the reports where you actually are entering in the parameters associated with it. So let's go ahead and run a specific site. And what this should show me is all products at a specific site. We would like to select a specific category and that category is going to be by product category. If you enter in, they say categories, or if you enter in parameters, 
you, get, you can limit what the results are going to be. If you enter in no parameters, it means first to last. So let's select a specific parameter and let's go with raw materials. So what we want to see is our raw materials all at a specific site. Down below in a report destination is what you want the output to be. And it, we are selecting preview. As you can see, you can set up a printer. You can also select the format, paper size, language, and also um, orientation. To process it, you click print in the right panel. You can also save parameters as well. The candy cane shows that it's processing. When it's finished processing, because it's preview, it's coming up to a, an Acrobat reader in a PDF file. As you can see, our results here shows the number of lines and you can print it out or whatever features are available for your Acrobat reader. So that's how you would process a report or run a report in the system and that's where you would locate all your reports. You can also do inquiries. Now inquiries are going to be in the module themselves under stock and there's multiple different places where you can actually run an inquiry and I'll give you an example. We look in our inquiries, as you can see the inquiries block shows the inquiries by submodule or by submenu here. You can see stock, movements, location, products, MRP and PS, allocations, and quality history as we discussed earlier. To run an inquiry, let's select the one for stock by site report. And here we would like to uh, select a specific site and a product. Let's look, run one of our raw materials. As you can see, you can enter the additional details. And to run it, you click Search. And we have our results. And we see our format of those results, which shows a graph. It shows a grid as well. And in the grid, we have three columns here that are fixed. What can you do with the report or the inquiry here? I can export it by using the action icon associated with the grid to export it out to Excel. I also can drill down further and get additional details with the action icon on the line itself, which has multiple different other inquiries that can actually be run from here. I can also select other criteria in the right panel by clicking on criteria. Where I can add criteria, I can also select a specific screen code that was personalized or customized to show additional columns in the grid, fixed columns, and possibly additional graphs in the grid as well. As mentioned earlier, there's other ways to actually run inquiries. We're looking at a stock by site, and we look at a specific product here. Let's see where else can we run the same inquiry of the same product. I can go to Common Data, to my products function and the products block to products. And looking at the same product here, I can go to the right panel and as you can see we have inquiries here as well, including stock by site. Now you can also run an inquiry in other places as well, as I mentioned earlier. Let's say we're in sales and we're going to a sales order and here's a sales order. I'm going to the line itself, and the line has that same product. I can still use the action icon here and run the stock by site inquiry here as well. As you can see, the same type of report that we ran earlier. And as I mentioned, you can actually drill down a little bit further. As you can see the details on the line here, which shows the available stock, what's on orders and so forth. But I can drill down and say, well, I would like additional detail. I hit the action icon and I can go to detailed stock. Now detailed stock, as you see, shows me additional information including the actual location of that stock. So now you learn how the system can run reports and inquiries related to stock.